Hello, and welcome to the ARCS Aviation video briefing on the Paint Scan AR Augmented Reality System, which combines a light based paint thickness scanner with augmented reality to produce unprecedented visual presentation of scan data. Portions of this video were recorded during system demonstrations to the United States Air Force. We begin the demonstration by having the painter or work lead log into the AR headset using his or her badge number and designating whether they are logging in as the work lead or the painter. The user then pushes the connect button and very shortly the AR headset is connected to the scanning system. Logging into the system enables worker performance to be tracked over time as well as for after action reviews of the individual session. Next, the user assigns the scanning session a name using a virtual pop-up keyboard so the scan can be recalled and reviewed later if desired. The user sets the target thickness and the tolerance. Data will be shown with different icons based on these settings. In this example, we set the target thickness to 4 mils and the tolerance to 15%. Finally, we orient the AR headset to the object being scanned using printed QR codes, anchoring the headset and all data points in three-dimensional space. This portion of the demonstration is being done in our conference room. Later in this video, you will see this done with an actual aircraft. Here our technician is using the handheld scanner to take some measurements of a sample panel. The results are displayed on a tiny built-in screen, but ARCS takes those results and outputs them to the AR headset. This is a first-person view of the same scanning session using the AR headset. Readings from the scanner are presented within the user's field of view, starting with the signal strength of the scan. This ensures the scanner is being used properly. The first reading is 3.34, which is below the 15% tolerance, and therefore is represented by a yellow downward pointing icon. The second scan point reading is 3.73. This is within the tolerance, and therefore the icon is a green sphere. Red icons indicate readings of more than twice the tolerance, indicating major problems, while yellow indicates the reading is out of tolerance, but not dramatically so. Upward pointing icons indicate readings above tolerance, the paint is too thick, while downward pointing icons indicate readings below tolerance, paint that is too thin. Icons become more useful as the scanning session progresses and the user takes a wider view of the scanned aircraft. We will see an example of that later in this video. Notice as the user views the scanned area, each time the white dot in the center, called the reticle, hovers over a scan point, the data for that scan point are presented. The work lead has an available pop-up menu to indicate and record the location of different painting defects that they see while they're doing the scanning. As they come across damaged paint, they can quickly tag the type of defect to the specific location, hovering the reticle over the defect and using a simple hand gesture to place the tag. A key feature of the system is the ability to bring up previous scans. Because a scan is specific to the location where the scan was done, we use the QR codes to orient the AR headset. When we view a data point, it is in the exact location in 3D space where it was tagged originally. Now we'll move on to a demonstration of the system that we did at an Air Force location with the customer and the end user. As you can see, the QR codes are located at the tires for this particular aircraft, a C-130. We decided that the tires are the easiest place for users to reliably place the QR codes in a repeatable manner. Now we go to the fuselage and start taking some measurements, and you can see the system works the same way with an actual aircraft as it did in our conference room. In this portion of the video, the user has already logged in and set the target thickness and tolerance. The ARC system also ensures native features of the AR headset, such as screen snaps and video capture, are available while in a scanning session. Notice in this wide view one of the real impacts of this system, easily seen clusters of data icons which indicate where the problem areas are.
In our phase two option, we developed additional features specific to a live paint environment. Here the painter is putting an application of yellow primer paint on this panel. You can see we've already taken a few measurements and tagged some of the existing drips and other defects. Notice the QR codes on the floor, which are highlighted in green. This is a first person view through the AR headset of the work lead. The painter has now applied a layer of paint and the work lead will come in to take measurements of the paint. This shows the system works with wet and dry paint. You may have noticed that the painter is wearing personal protective equipment, a full body suit with what's called a CPAP or respirator, and the work lead has that on in this video as well. They do not interfere with the function of the AR headset. Now the work lead and painter are discussing the results. The painter is wearing an AR headset as well so he can see the data, the icons, and the defects. Both users see the exact same data from the work lead scanning. The painter even moves in so he can get a closer look. Finally, we added a feature to give additional feedback to the painter. It's not enough just to tell the painter that they're putting on too much or too little paint, so we provide additional details on how fast their hand is moving and how far they are away from their paint target, presented as numbers, but also through the color and size of the circular meter. Thank you for watching our system demonstration of the Paint Scan AR system. ARCS would like to discuss your needs and how this system may enhance your mission execution.